Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Orlando, Florida. And even more specifically than that, we are at SeaWorld. Now, yesterday we were at Bush Gardens and uh, Bush Gardens SeaWorld under the same umbrella owned by the same company. And uh, earlier in the year, I had purchased a Platinum Pass for SeaWorld in San Diego when I was in San Diego earlier this year. So that allows me to get into all the SeaWorlds, all the Bush Gardens around the country. So I figured while we were here in Orlando, while I've done kind of the spontaneous trip to Orlando, we would stop and use our pass here at the Orlando SeaWorld. Now, since the last time I've been here, they've added a couple roller coasters. So we're gonna investigate, see what uh, roller coasters there are for us to check out. I've got, uh, I've got my uh, Osmo Action Cam, DJI Osmo Action Cam in my fanny pack and uh, we can get on the roller coasters. We'll see if we can get some uh, fun roller coaster footage. So please follow me. See this postcard-like mural here has the different attractions there in the letters. Combination of roller coasters and sea creatures. It's the iconic SeaWorld Lighthouse out here in front greeting us with the uh, walrus statues. Oh wow, look at this. The SeaWorld Pharma Box has literally any sort of medication you could need. That's pretty, it's actually pretty handy. You can be a little Listerine there if your breath gets a little stinky while you're here at SeaWorld. All right, so this here, this is uh, kind of what I was interested in checking out. The Pipeline, the Surf Coaster, a very unique roller coaster. I saw this when I visited the uh, IAPA, the theme park trade show. It's uh, you actually stand on a giant surfboard on a roller coaster. So uh, let's uh, see if we can possibly get on Pipeline. See the lake here in the center of SeaWorld. This is where uh, Jaws actually snuck into the park in uh, Jaws 3. And there it is. You see people all of that giant surfboard there. As they are surfing the steel waves of the roller coaster. That looks pretty pretty interesting. I, li I like how unique and themed it is for a roller coaster. Oh, look at that. Playing a little bit of surf music here in the background as well. All right, here is the seat that uh, is used for Pipeline. So it is a stand-up coaster, which I've had some bad luck with stand-up coasters before. There's a ride called the Vortex at Carowinds. So this here, would, uh, I sat in the ride, this this like section here kind of lifted me up off the ground. So unfortunately, every turn, every twist, I felt right here. But uh, this is a completely different uh, design ride system. It actually bounces. You go up and down, you can kind of bounce, you can move your legs, so you are standing up, but uh, you are still safely encased in this but you can move up and down so it gives you a, an unusual amount of freedom for a roller coaster this buckles down over your chest there it says larger guests those with a, abdominal or chest sizes uh, with larger abdominal or chest sizes may not be able to, to ride so hopefully uh hopefully i can fit in here let's see if i can squeeze in all right let me see if i can get up here all right Oh, uh, all right, all right. There we go. And we squeeze that down. Oh my gosh. Okay, squeeze that down. I think, I think I fit in here. Yeah, I think this. I think this works. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna go hop aboard the pipeline. Oh no. I think my head is almost too big for that hole, though. Oh, look at that. All right, we're gonna run a locker here to put all uh, all my loose items and uh, so we don't have to worry about them flying out during the ride oh 
Oh, you can see the, the water here actually splashed up when, uh, when they went by. actually starting to sprinkle a little bit but I guess that just adds the effect of being on a giant surfboard you're gonna get a little little wet just hopefully fingers crossed you don't get any lightning to shut down the roller coasters oh, you can see people bobbing up and down Oh, there they go. Step out of your seat and on the surfboard. Happy birthday, you're at SeaWorld. Oh, look. Our chariot awaits. All right, yeah, this is weird. Being able to, like, stand up and down and bounce in a roller coaster seat. I'm moving under my feet. That's kind of a weird sensation. Oh, this is so weird. So weird here. Oh, no. Gonna blast. A little sprinkling rain. And... Oh no! Oh wow! Whoa! Oh, that's freaking crazy! Oh! Oh! Look at Oh wow, that was that was unexpected. I didn't realize you could actually you actually fly up your feet after you lift up off the surfboard. So you're actually like flying in the air. Oh man, sitting down here for for a second. That was yeah, I did not expect that. That was actually an incredible amount of fun. So they really, really loved that. I did want to get a front row view for you guys, but unfortunately they said they're not doing um, row requests today. That's a new new roller coasters are probably just not wanting to deal with people trying to move around. But my goodness, that is uh, that is one of the one of the best roller coasters I have uh, ever been on. That may be my new favorite. I, such a unique experience. I think I will ride it one more time. All right, so we couldn't get in the first row because they're not doing requests but i did manage to randomly land in the very last row number 12. they do say that they do say the back row is usually the wildest uh-oh it does appear there seems to be some uh issues here this uh people here not ex not able to get off the ride they said that maintenance is on their way to uh Resolve the issue. But, uh, yeah, they've been sitting here, sitting tight for a little while. Yeah, these poor people are stuck out in their harnesses in the pouring rain. Ooh, I did not, did not envy them. Yeah, they're having to manually remove people from the seats. It's 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 a, it's a brand new roller coaster, and you know, it takes some time to to work all the kinks out. Okay, they've got everyone evacuated off the ride, but now we're getting messages, getting announcements that there's lightning in the area. Of course, the sky itself is sunny, but uh, the weather passes very quickly in Florida. And if there's like a lightning strike within like a certain number of miles, they have to uh, 
have to hold up the ride. So I'm not sure if the, the mechanical issue is is fixed or we're just waiting on that or if we're waiting on the weather, but either way we're we are uh, we're waiting. All right, they're sending the sending the empty cars through. That's a that's a good side. Spoke too soon. Apparently the ride is still hung up and waiting here probably probably over an hour at this point. Hopefully we do get a chance to get back on the uh, the uh, pipeline. There we go. All right, got up to the front of the line, got ready to board, and then the ride broke down for an hour and a half. But here we are back on the board, getting ready to uh, getting ready to conquer pipeline once again. I don't know if it was the smartest thing to wait an hour and a half to get on a ride that I had already just uh, just been on. But the thing is, like when a ride breaks down, you're like okay, I'll wait, and then like start, and then suddenly it starts to be like a long time, and you're like, well, maybe I should leave, but I've spent all this time waiting. I don't want to have just waited, and wasted all this time for no reason. So then uh, you end up waiting longer and longer, and then like you're like, man, I've been waiting here an hour. This is this is this is ridiculous. I should be doing something else. But then you're like, well, I just invested an hour in this, and when I leave, they're probably just going to open it back up, and then I'll have missed it. I'll wait an hour for nothing, and then have missed it because I left it at the last minute. But uh, yeah, that's that's the, the 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 reasoning that goes into that. And uh, I'm not complaining because you know obviously it is absolute safety first when it comes to roller coasters. I would rather them take the time to make sure everything is going right it's a very complicated machine you know they got to make sure every little bit is working before they send people send people uh, out onto the coaster so completely understandable and glad that they are able to operate the rides safely now this roller coaster this is like one of the best roller coasters i have ever been on the the, the effect like you're sitting there like and, I, and, I, and i've hated standing roller coasters in the past because they're so painful because you feel all the pressure and and bumps between your legs which is not a good place to feel them. But on this one, um, not only is it not painful, but you actually can go up and down, you can move, you can bend your knees, and then when you go over big like hills, you actually lift up, your feet leave the surfboard, and it is a it is such a strange and wonderful sensation. I would say this is definitely one of my favorite roller coasters that I've uh, that I've ever been on. And you know the great theming, there's a giant surfboard, it's got a solid surfing theme. I I, I can't say enough good things about this one. There's a sandcastle in the shape of the pipeline logo. I wonder if that, I, I can't figure out if that's a real, if that's a real temporary pile of sand or if that is a sculpture. We'll take a little break from the terror of roller coasters and head into the wild Arctic here. Okay, the air conditioning in here is extremely pleasant. <laughs> All right, here we are in like an Arctic outpost. See the satellite dish right there? It appears to be like a shipwreck right there. Oh, and there's Oh, there's, there's, a, there's a whale down there. It's a beluga whale. 
It's gotta come up for air sometime. Oh, there's another one. Oh, look at that. That one came up for air there, the little one. Oh, there we go. All right, looks like we're entering the belly of the shipwreck here. What's in this enclosure? They don't, oh, there we go. There's a happy little seal down there. You can see here's the camp that the Arctic explorers would stay in while looking for marine uh, mammals. Got their socks hanging up and drying. It's important, important to keep your feet dry. Here's the underwater research area here. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Let's see what's going on through the glass. Oh, that's a walrus there. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Love, love walruses. You can see how they swim upside down. Hey! Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, there's the happy little seal we saw earlier. Oh, there's the beluga whale. Hey there. The research laboratory in here. We've got uh, different footprints and skulls. Oh, there's a polar bear skull. They don't look so scary. They look tinier when they're just skulls, but I guess that is a polar bear foot there. That is pretty enormous. Now, this orange coaster here is Icebreaker. It was actually, oh, there it goes. It was actually not open yet last time uh, I visited. So hopefully we can get a chance to ride this as well. Oh, okay, so it like didn't make it all the way up here. It went back, got a, got a running start, and it's got a head full of steam, and yay, it made it. It made it that time. Here it comes, coming back the other way. Oh no, it just started pouring. Abandoned theme park. Get out of the raid. All right, so I got all my stuff put in the locker, got ready to hop aboard Icebreaker, and then suddenly it starts raining. They make an announcement that all outdoor rides are suspended because of lightning. It's kind of part of, I guess it's part of the weather here in Florida. Things change rapidly. So it could be sunny all day and then suddenly there's lightning. And, and it, 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 if lightning is within a certain distance, it could be a few miles, they have to shut everything down and wait for it to clear up. But things pass pretty quickly. So I'm just kind of hanging out here waiting, uh, see if the weather blows by and then maybe we can, maybe we can hop aboard Icebreaker. All right, the rain is gone, the sky is clear, and we're getting ready to hop aboard Icebreaker. The way this ride loads is absurd. It goes forward here onto, uh, onto the track, and then it stops, and then it uh, slides sideways onto another track and then it goes backwards 
All right, and my chariot awaits. I managed to get the uh, front row seat here on Icebreaker. Onto the track, and then it dead ends right there. And then uh, we're gonna slide over onto the real track here. And I guess we're gonna go backwards. Oh yeah, there we go. Whoa, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we didn't make it. Oh, we're not gonna make it. We don't have enough, we don't have enough velocity to, oh! Oh no, 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 we don't have enough velocity. Oh! Oh no! Oh, I don't like that. Oh, okay. Oh, I think we got enough speed this time. I think we got enough speed. Oh, God! Oh! 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 my gosh. Oh! Oh! Why sideways? Oh! What is this thing? Oh! 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 Was that it? Okay. All right, so they went they, they went halfway up the big loop. Now they're going to come back. Okay, there you go. Okay, that should be enough. You're going to have enough velocity there to, to blast through. You can see the massive observation tower there. It's like a spinning observation tower. It takes you up high above SeaWorld. I've ever, never actually been in that tower there. Let's, uh, let's uh, go walk that way and see if we can hop aboard the tower. Oh, look at this, out on the lake, we have these flamingo boats, not not swan boats, as is uh, more traditionally seen, but uh, these flamingos. Oh wow, this looks incredibly soggy. I don't necessarily feel like getting that soggy today. Oh, here they go. actually had a name on it. Apparently it's called Rafty McRaft Face. They, said the, 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 they had the internet poll years ago to name a, a British boat and it was named Bodie McBoat Face. Nice reference. All right, so it uh, is an added cost. It's uh, $7 for, uh, to take for a single rider to go out on the Flamingos. But uh, I used my pass holder discount, got $2 off, so only $5 to add on a Flamingo ride. I'm very excited. All right, and my chariot awaits. All right, and I am behind the neck of a flamingo, sitting here in the middle. I've got paddles on both sides. In my crotch, I have a steering wheel. All right, when you turn it, okay, that way, makes it go that way. Gosh, the, the sun is in my eyes. All right, let's uh, paddle out here. Keep paddling. Said so the rules are don't go too close to the to the edges. Don't go by the rocks, the bushes. Just paddle nice and easy out here in the lake. In the lake that uh, that Jaws inhabited in Jaws 3D. So that's pretty cool. Get <laughs> in the pond that was inhabited by Jaws. See when you move it that way, when I turn it like that it goes in this direction so it's kind of kind of counter intuitive well there you can see that that observation tower it was a long walk there we're still making our way over there hopefully we'll get there eventually but i got distracted when i found out you could ride a flamingo got my life jacket on it's actually really, really hot out here. It is a it is, it is a scorcher of a day. Of course, it's my fault for coming to uh, Florida in uh, in June. Forgot how punishingly hot it uh, it could be. So yeah, still a nice 
relaxing ride here on a flamingo. Whew. Yeah, for those of you who've never gotten a chance to see Jaws 3D, somehow the shark manages to get into the lake in the middle of SeaWorld. It's unclear how the shark gets from the ocean to SeaWorld. SeaWorld is in central Florida, and uh, the ocean is a, a probably about an hour and a half away at the at the bare minimum but man, i don't know maybe swim to, sw the shark maybe swam at rivers or something i don't know they don't they don't go into a lot of specifics there across the lake you can see pipeline the uh, surf coaster we saw earlier you can see the that observation tower it's headed upwards looks like it kind of does like a spiral while it's uh heading up all right, see so if we can maneuver this thing back into the dock. One thing I do like about SeaWorld though is when it does get super hot, there is uh, plenty of places to duck into. We can go look at some sharks instead of standing out in the heat. Give me some of that air conditioning that I beg of you. Oh, I can already feel it. Oh, that feels so good. Feel the air conditioning pouring out of this building. And we have a tunnel here. I don't know if there's any sharks in this tunnel. So we'll have to keep an eye out. I can see those fish right there swirling in a circle. Here you can see. There's a lionfish right there. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of lionfish in here. They're invasive species to Florida. See the old abandoned uh, fisherman traps there. Oh, watch out, there's a floor shark. Here we have a shark eye test. We have to take five paces back and see what a shark sees. All right, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five. See, I think that is a, a guy on a, on a surfboard right there. But you get just a little further, looks exactly like a seal or a sea turtle. And they come very hard to distinguish. So that's why you don't paddle on your surfboard like that because you're gonna get sharked. They're gonna think you're a seal. It says 100 million sharks are killed every year to make shark fin soup. And you see the different animals here and the different number of fatalities linked to that animals. Sharks only kill five people a year, which, you know, I'd prefer they killed zero, but, uh, you know, things happen. 90 people are killed by lightning. I, that, wow. I didn't know, I didn't know that many people got hit by lightning. Uh, 200 people are killed by deer. No, the deer doesn't like gore them to death with its antlers. It's usually uh, come from uh, jumping out in front of your car and causing you to have a car accident. And then 500 people die a year from bee stings. And a million people die from mosquito-borne diseases. So, in a way, the mosquitoes are the real shark. Okay, here's the shark tunnel. There's a shark. Hey, sharky. Oh, look, there's a hammerhead right there. That guy's swimming over top of us. Check out this lazy old shark right here. He's just taking a nap. Oh, it's another one. These are shark infested water. See the hammerhead right there. Here we have the sky tower. Let's uh, see if we can get a tower's eye view of SeaWorld. Now the sky tower is an additional uh, additional five dollars to ride. Fortunately, um, because I'm an annual pass holder, it does get me into the sky tower for free. So unfortunately, the sky tower 
Uh, right when I got up there, they announced they're having maintenance issues. Um, so a lot of a lot of rides have had maintenance issues today. I guess uh, just one of those days. <laughs> I know uh, the Mako, the roller coaster over there, um, they're having maintenance issues as well. So I don't know, just just one of those days. I am I am hanging out by the Sky Tower. It does look like they're testing it. So hopefully uh, we'll get a chance to uh, ride the Sky Tower before the end of the day. They they do have the car up there at the top. Looks like they're testing it. So uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll get a chance to hop on the uh, the Sky Tower. It's been, you know, it's been a, it's been a day of challenges here at, uh, at SeaWorld. Been, been some weather challenges, been some technical difficulties, but uh, we'll, we'll weather the storm. We'll be all right. See it slowly descending here the two-story sky tower there hopefully uh hopefully they'll get it fixed no guarantees i guess but uh, i definitely did want to get a tower eye view of uh of sea world today before we left it's like they're testing it out seeing it making sure it's making sure it's safe All right, good news. The Sky Tower is open. All right, we climb the stairs here to the upper level entrance. We're keeping the frogs down. All the way down, just to the left. All right, go here. It says all the way down. See so yeah, how we're like inside, like a stone tower. Oh, there we go. Welcome aboard the, the SeaWorld bright. Sky Tower. As you take your ride up to a height of 300 feet, we thought it would be helpful to share some SeaWorld tips that might make your day even more enjoyable. None of this would be possible without the, uh, the continued support uh, of our partner agencies, Lagoon. park guests like you, you as well as people across the globe out taking there. action to protect these amazing animals and their habitats and others to oh, rescue uh, and help animals in need breaker, of our care. That orange coaster down there. Always with the goal oh, of rehabilitation. Just about There's 300 the, uh, feet up Orlando now. Convention from here, Center right there. From miles and miles. To the east, also across the street from SeaWorld, you'll find Aquatica. Our water park hosts the most water park in yeah, look at the all those. Day. Look at all those flamingos Visit down the there. information counter today to see how you can experience Discovery. Oh, look at the icebreaker there. I think they're gonna make it over the over the loop. Uh, yeah, they made it. There we have the pipeline, the surf coaster that begun our day. Over there, you can see doing uh, doing some construction there. Wonder what they are uh, building. Yeah, a lot of big coasters there. Didn't get a chance to ride all the big giant coasters today because of the weather and the uh, technical difficulties, but you know, there's always next time. Our mission uh, looks like is we're to beginning our and save it downward part spiral. Well, looks like we're spiraling back down into the stone tower here. Next to the sky tower, this mural here with some sea monsters. I have like Loch Ness Monster there, Mermaid, and look up there we have the Kraken. And uh, what's that there? It's like a fish with, uh, with a lion's mane and a horn. Here we have the Dolphin Nursery. Dolphin there is playing with a fish. Keeps throwing a fish up in the air and catching it with his mouth. He's playing with his food. Oh, there's little baby dolphins swimming around. Oh, the baby one's by it. Oh, this dolphin's playing with a fish too. Look, it's like like spitting up a fish. I just I don't I don't know why. What I don't I really don't know what's happening. Dolphin's got a fish in its mouth. It's like repeatedly hacking it up and swallowing it. 
Oh, look at that. It That's so weird. Did you talk to Jaden, Brad? Never seen anything like that. Oh my gosh. Do you see him? He's spinning So strange. Oh my gosh, you're playing with it. Can I talk to Jaden? No, I didn't. We put a group chat that said I'll go to the orcas. Yeah, tell them we're on our way there. They get a good close up there of the dolphin throat and see the fish. That's so funny. Coming up what? repeatedly. That was doing it too. Look, that was doing it. Why are you doing that, dolphin? It reminds me of a dolphin. Head here through the gift shop. There's some of their mascot characters. I didn't see any of these in the park there. I do like Sir Winston Walrus. Oh, here we are. Here we have a uh, a Sir Winston uh, Walrus right there. I'll, let me see if I can fix his fix his monocle. Fix his monocle there. Oh, he lost his monocle altogether. There we go. Let's see if we can. There we go. There we go. That looks. <laughs> that doesn't look much better, honestly. He's got a little like piece of Velcro there for his monocle. And there we go. Monocle. Monocle is. Monocle is fixed. There we go. Now that looks respectable. What's this pelican's name? I don't see his name here on the on the sign. There we have a little otter there. Who is uh, <laughs> about to eat this poor little clam? Yeah, I do love these vintage looking t shirts with uh, the mascot characters. Did not see the mascots in the park today. I'd love if, uh, if they had them walking around. I don't know if they do ever have them walking around. Let's see all the characters there. And look at this. You can even drink coffee out of a dolphin's head. You just got to remove the top of their head. And put the uh, put the coffee in there. They have a uh, a sea lion there, and this is the orca. They don't call the orca Shamu anymore. They have abandoned that name. I learned that on accident at uh, Sea World San Diego. Sea World. I do you think Sir Winston Walrus is is my favorite? He's pretty amazing. Yeah, a bunch of SeaWorld 2023 merchandise at the 2023 snow globe there. Where do we park? Oh boy! Thank you for joining me today here at SeaWorld. It was an excruciatingly hot day today. I will just say that the Florida sun, uh, when it when the Florida sun is, is, is beaming directly onto you, that is like, it is not a normal sun. The sun here is hotter indeed. Uh, it, it, had a, it had a little bit of a mixed day here. Like I said, the heat was intense and when it wasn't intense, it started raining. And of course, they can't ride. They can't run um, the rides in the rain because, uh, well, like, I think they can run it in the rain. They just can't run it if there is lightning. And, and the, the weather here in Florida, you know, you have a lot of thunderstorms. Usually, they come and go pretty quick. But that did cause a lot of uh, stopping and going. I spent a lot of time just standing around waiting today for for things to uh, to, to improve. And there was the technical difficulties as well. But, uh, you know, that's just something that happens. Unfortunately, it's something that uh, you get used to <laughs> visiting visiting uh, amusement parks. It happens. It happens. These rides, you know, these rides, especially like the high thrill rides, they're designed to be uh, safety first. Safety first. So, if there's one little thing that doesn't go right, if one thing is a little funny and, and the system 
and the system detects that it's not gonna let, it's not gonna let the ride go. They're kind of built to be foolproof, you know, and that is important. Um, you don't, you know, people don't have the power to override things for very, very good reason. Um, you know, if you've been following in the last couple of years, there's been some very tragic um, amusement, amusement park ride accidents. So, you know, as frustrating as it is to have to stand there while the ride isn't working, you, you know, that it is just because they're, they built these systems so that nothing can go wrong. If there's something a little funny going on, if the, if the the ride detects that something is not right, it's not going to go and it's not going to let them uh, put people on it. So personally, I'm I'm happy that the the rides today have such a good safety mechanisms uh, because uh, you you just hate hate for that to go wrong. It, it, very rarely, as, as scary as the accidents that do happen at amusement parks, they are very very rare and I am I'm grateful for that because I'm already scared enough on these roller coasters without having to worry about my actual uh, physical safety but uh, yeah I did not get a chance to ride as many roller coasters as, as I may have wanted just because of all these delays today so we will have to come back have to come back and, and do uh, do a tour of roller coasters here at uh, at SeaWorld I do have my my annual pass so I've been to uh, SeaWorld San Diego Went to Busch Gardens yesterday, and then I went to SeaWorld Orlando today. But now, it's time to put uh, my Florida adventure to an end. I'm actually gonna head north. I went on this whirlwind uh, trip to Florida when I found out they had Jurassic Park Moldomatics at Universal Studios, and then I decided to use my SeaWorld annual pass to do Busch Gardens and SeaWorld. But, I gotta get back north. I have something uh, planned this weekend so i'm gonna head up there um no slowing down We've done three amusement parks in three days out in the heat and uh we're still we're still gonna keep going still going to gonna try to keep uh keep the adventure going keep this car rolling and uh I would be honored if you guys would continue to join me on this adventure. If you do, if you do like these videos, please subscribe. It uh, will let you know when new videos come out. I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also, uh, selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, we got the four new carpet bagger monster faces that are available. You can buy um, just one, or you can buy all four for a discounted price. Also doing cameos, and having a lot of fun doing uh, personalized messages, birthdays, anniversaries, just for fun. If you're interested in that, check the description of this video. And of course, all that goes to help keep this roller coaster on the track this dolphin in the water and this sky tower in the air till next time my friends this one's in the bag <laughs>